I'm Naila from Innovate. I'm here at Infocom Asia with Karen from Rankin Science. So Karen, Rankin Science just celebrated the 45th anniversary, right? So what does the journey for AV hold after this milestone? Hi Naila. First of all, I'd like to thank you and Innovate team to have us relay our messaging towards our customers and our community here at Infocom Bangkok. Well, you're absolutely right in mentioning the fact that the 45th anniversary that we just recently celebrated is a huge landmark for any particular brand in terms of professional audio video. Rinka Science journey actually started in 1979, so you can talk about the amount of time and investment we have put in this particular industry. Having said that, the core technology that we are globally known for is a beam steering. The inception of that technology happened in 2005. So, the message I'm trying to give over here is, it's been around 20 years we have invested in this technology, which is literally our bread and butter. Having said that, versus our healthy and respected competitors in the industry, for whom this particular technology might just be a commodity, for us it's a complete experience delivery mechanism for our customers. We have been giving this particular solution a technology and across diverse markets, across diverse regions globally. And the 20 years that we have invested in this has finally come out in the form of a complete different paradigm shift in beam steering called Omni Beam. Omni Beam pretty much takes away the mindset normally integrators have of the challenges that they face with the beam steering programming and beam steering deployment on the site, which normally is supposed to be taking hours. With the Omni Beam technology, we actually would be able to cut down that time period of deployment to literally a few minutes, which is a huge landmark, because we value the time our integrators have and the consultants have. They have more critical things to focus on. We're trying to get the job much more easy so the same beam steering, which basically used to be a kind of a one-day task for deployment, the 20 years of experience comes in, which we now have embedded in this, with the help of which we call this particular phrase called snap to audience, which literally means with a click of button, you'll be able to literally have the beam programming towards a particular set of audience. We solely believe every particular person in the audience deserves to have the most intelligible sound. And with the Omni beam, we successfully have been able to do it, and we are very proud to say that. So, couldn't make me more happier, more proud saying, on the 45th anniversary, we gave this particular world of audio a complete paradigm shift, a complete new experience. Yeah, amazing. And, you know, we're seeing more interest, right, in creating great audio experiences and solutions for people. So, how does Rankin's Heinz um, products and solutions help with this specifically? So Naila, first thing, and I don't intend to probably challenge your question, but a small correction over here is we are not a product company. We are absolutely a solution-driven organization. To an extent, we do not stock. When I say we do not stock, that clearly gives a message we are not a box-moving company. For us, every requirement or every customer globally is very unique. What we aspire to, what we endeavor towards is to take every requirement in a very, very unique manner design a solution which is done by a set of very highly qualified engineers where I have in a back-end team. <clears throat> we then basically understand the customer's requirement. Every customer has very different requirements. Aesthetics, budget, site, acoustic treatment towards that has been going into the site. And then finally, we come up with a solution which we deliver and we literally try to match A to Z of customer's requirement. What we do not really believe is as a standard product which goes across different applications, which we really feel is not the justice because every customer is very unique. But the beam steering, especially Omni Beam, we have also been able to create a seamless experience via different products that we have at the back end which deliver very unique solutions. But with the Omni Beam now coming in, there's a kind of a parity and a consistency we have been also able to achieve across these diverse applications. We normally would be no, known for very highly reverberant spaces like house of worship and big venues. Having said that, with the help of Omni Beam, we would be able to now literally make an experience across any vertical in the market. So be it corporates, be it retail, be it hospitality, transportation. Of course, I mentioned house of worship, large venues. 
with the help of the new parameters that we have been able to achieve with beam steering, I believe every experience would be absolutely stunning for the customer's experience and for the integration and the consultant partners as well. Because as I highlighted before, the time factor has been literally narrowed down to minimal. Now, I understand the fact that this particular technology has been in the market, but when it comes to OmniBeam, we are the first ones to offer that. When I say first ones, is an advancement that we have been able to achieve in beam steering. So to answer that very precisely, we have a technology literally now addressing every market application that you might find. And I would rather say challenges than application because we love challenges, spaces where most of the other, our respected competitors might not be able to deliver that wow experience. We get in over there, we study it, analyze it, design a solution very uniquely, and with the help of our beam steering, Omni Beam, we literally try to give that wow factor to the customers. Perfect. And Karan, audio remains a very specialized field, right? So how can AV professionals upskill themselves to deliver what end users want when it comes to audio? That's a very good question, Naila. In the pro AV, visual always has got a dominance when it comes to the customer experience because what we see always dominates our senses versus what we hear. But having said that, many a times we see some amazing great displays, but because of that lack of audio, the overall customer experience goes to absolutely a disaster. We have recognized that significantly. Having said that, we as a brand will be very glad to recognize that and give solutions accordingly. The challenge is, how do we relay that message to the end customers? Over here, we've actually enjoyed a couple of things. So to start with, our channels. In Asia specifically, we have some of the best channels across every region. As we all know, Asia is a very diverse region altogether. I mean, different countries, different languages, different skill sets. So if you look at the distribution network that we have on our website, all the partners that we have married with, they come up very, very strong resource management. They have very highly skilled, qualified engineers, which we feel are very critical for deployment of our solutions. They're very healthy in terms of their marketing and their training facilities. What we always endeavor is, we strongly believe in interaction with the end customers, consultants, and integration partners. We're always in cons consistent pursuit of education with all these <clears throat> community partners. Uh, we all strongly believe until all is the right training and education is imparted, we cannot expect the customer to get the wow experience we want to deliver as a brand. The second thing I would like to probably highlight is our endeavor towards training our own self and interacting with the end customers directly. We have now been taking part in some of the global shows for many years now, Infocom, IAC. Having said that, our own pre and post sales team, which is a service oriented, outlook towards the customers and the pre-sales team that we have across the globe. We try to go and talk to the customers ourselves a lot to understand the challenges because hearing from the horse's mouth is always the best platform to work on. Uh, we also strongly believe that until and unless this messaging and communication is on the place, we'll never be able to achieve what the customer really desire. And again, we start going into the box mentality which we do not want to. I would rather also like to emphasize over here that there's a new concept, <clears throat> or rather the new technologies that are emerging in the audio, which is now making audio even more specialized, even more focused domain. One of them is immersive sound. Mm -hmm. Now with immersive sound, as I would give you a little summary, you can actually make one particular room appear in different applications by click of a button. The same room might sound like a church, and with a click of a button, it might sound like a stadium. And again, with a click of a button, it might sound like a classroom. Now we want to deliver these experiences to the end users and one of the initiatives that we've taken is a strategic alliance with a company called Ambidios Acoustics. We already have a first experience center together with Ambidios and with our European Amsterdam partner based out of a place called Den Haag. We'll be very glad to host you in our experience center if ever given a chance. Highly motivated with that, we are now in process of creating the same experience in Asia by maybe around three or four months down the line, we'll be able to share some very good news with you on this. We solely believe that the solutions that we are offering are more to do with experience than just a box. And we really want our customers to come and experience that into that experience center. With immersive sound, we strongly believe that 
the benchmark that we have been able to attain with the help of beam steering, especially with Omni Beam, we would be able to take it to the next level altogether. Once we are coupled with the immersive sound experience, I believe Renka Science would be perceived as a complete differentiator when it comes to the customer experience. So yes, we perceive audio as a very highly skilled domain. Having said that, it requires a lot of specialized technologies deployment, not making it too technically perplexing to the end customer. And hence, partnering with Amadeus, getting these experience centers in place is the right message we want to communicate through our channels in Asia. And we are on the right path towards that. And very soon, I believe, once we have the experience center in Asia as well, you'll see the difference with that. Perfect, sounds very interesting. Right, thank you very much. Thank you, Nala.